In this film, we present the latest features in the Digital Terrain Model module, DTM for short, and All Plan 2009. In addition to 12-digit alphanumeric point labels being supported, you can now mesh up to 300,000 points into a digital terrain model. What's more, in an animated mode, you can map an orthophoto, image file as texture, as a perpendicular area projection to the surface of the DTM. Point symbols are loaded in the following data. These are to be meshed into a DTM. They represent a section of terrain where a cut is planned. The surveyed boundary points above the future slope are highlighted red. The green line represents the boundary of the base. The level of the cut in the base is to be 974.5 meters and is thus almost 10 meters under the surrounding level. Now insert point symbols for the base. For demonstration purposes, these points will be assigned alphanumeric text. In this case, the text is cut. Then mesh the point symbols into a DTM. In the animation, you can see how a texture has been mapped to the surface of the DTM. In order for the surface to be placed just once on the DTM, assign the DTM the property Texture in Plan View. To have the texture rest on the surface in the correct position, adapt the extents of the DTM to the texture. To do this, drag and drop the texture as a bitmap area in Plan View. The correct positioning is ensured by the GeoReference TIFF file. As you can see, the texture in this case extends much further than your DTM. To display the animation surface in the correct position on the DTM, add the corners of the bitmap area to the DTM. Then cut away the area beyond your captured terrain using an exterior boundary that you can import. This way, the position of the surface matches exactly and you obtain a photorealistic terrain model. As you can see, the advanced functions of the Digital Terrain Model module in All Plan 2009 enable you to meet today's terrain modeling and display requirements in full.